All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Griddle Guard cooking vlog. I'm here with my brother David here. And today we're gonna make some tacos. So we're actually gonna go down to our favorite meat market, El Tarasco, here in California, and get some, some groceries and make a nice lunch on this Sunday. So stay tuned. of the marinated carne asada and like two pounds of marinated chicken. Carne asada, please. All right, what's up guys? We've got the groceries inside, but first I wanted to show you guys the griddle I'm cooking on. We've got here, we've got the Black Zone 36 inch griddle, and you can see this model has the front shelf here. It's pretty nice, I like it. I put some of my, uh, Spices, you know, salt and pepper in there, and my olive oil. And I got, of course, the Griddle Guard diamond plate cover here. It's nice, it kind of acts as a wind guard and then also protects the house from getting any grease splatter on there. So, yes, sir. All right, you see, let's start making some food, huh? All right, okay. we'll, 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 we'll yeah, I do, yeah, do want to show you guys the Griddle Guard wind guards here. Yes, sir. Um, I don't have them on right now because, you know, it's not windy at all right now. <laughs> Fresh cilantro here. Yes, sir. All right, guys, this is what we got here. You can see we got some guacamole from El Tarasco. We got some ceviche and some pretty spicy salsa. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, the griddle's fired up. Bringing the ingredients out, the groceries. You see, we got the meat and everything on a tray. Uh, next, we're gonna start throwing the meat on. Dave, you wanna go ahead and... Yeah, what do we got here? The, what's that? Some carne asada. Yeah, throw the carne asada on first. And as you can see, we got some uh, pre, pre-diced onions, both kinds, red onions and yellow onions. Making it a little bit easier for us today. Not that it's that hard. I'm gonna turn these down on low here. Yeah, turn them down a little bit. It's already smoking quite a bit. I got this cheese in my hand too. Um, let's put this right here for now. All right, DC, go ahead All and right. throw it on. We're, we're running, yeah, fire it up. <clears throat> Ooh, wow. Same stuff as what's already on there. Yeah. Chicken going off. Chicken going off. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow, that smells so good. I'm gonna put a little food here. Beautiful Sunday. Out here cooking on the griddle. Cooking up some tacos. Doesn't get much better than this. That's right, brother. Life is good. Life is good. Okay, so what we're thinking, guys, is we're gonna give the carne asada a little more time. Actually, the carne asada is probably almost done, but we're gonna bring the carne asada inside the house to chop it up. So that way, so that way we don't dull up our knives chopping up on the griddle. And then the chicken should be done here pretty soon, huh, dude? Yeah, a little bit longer. A little longer? Okay. Crank up the heat a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got the alpha store. Dang, dude, that chicken's so tender, you can chop it with the, the scraper, huh? Yeah. Probably don't need to bring it inside and chop it, you just the scraper, huh? <laughs> Next, we're gonna chop it up for the tacos and put it back on the griddle and then make some tacos. Fine. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've got the meat, we've got the carne asada chopped up, chicken's chopped up, all that sorority king chopped up. Next, we're gonna probably put some tortillas on here and start melting some cheese. Don't forget about the onion. The onion. Throw up some onions. Throw up some onions, too. This goes on there right now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Man, so good, guys.
<laughs> Next we got grilled onions. Thing I want to mention to you guys is that we are having a sale on these hard covers here on our website, grillguard.com. So make sure you head over to grillguard.com and uh, get yourself one of our hard covers. So what we like to do here at Grillguard is we like to put a little bit of cheese on the tortillas, get it melted while it's on the griddle still. So go ahead and start adding cheese to each tortilla. Let it melt, then we'll add the meat. Okay, we're adding the meat now, guys. Up and over. And over here. Making some carne asada tacos first, then we'll move on to other meats. What we do, guys, we make the tacos on the griddle and we fold them over. Just easier that way. And that's what we like to do. Okay, so what we went ahead and did is we put the tacos in this little Pyrex tray right here. And we got round two going on right now. So for this one guys, for this round, we got both grilled onions and raw onions. I'm gonna have the cilantro. <clears throat> Whoa, all right guys, we're going for the kill. We're going for the fold. Fold them over, bro. Fold them over, the cheese is melted, and the meat's on there, the cilantro, onions. Both kinds of onions on some of them. That one right there. Nice, DC. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Some little Sunday tacos, some carne asada, some chicken, some al pastor. Yes, Can't sir. get much better than that. Beautiful Sunday. Mm. By good regard. All right, AC. Give us a taste test. All right, al pastor taco. Look at that. Woo. This feels pretty hot. Here we go. Mm. Pretty good guys. We'll get the rest of this scraped up and uh, get the griddle cleaned up and uh, I think that's gonna be it. It's about to be it guys. Just wanna make this uh, vlog on this nice Sunday. Make some tacos. And real quick, if you're thinking about ordering one of our hardcover lids, make sure you do it early before shipping gets crazy. So yeah, that's all we got for you. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.